happy, uh, what is it called? New Year. Oh, no! All that stuff. My name's Paul Brooks. I, uh, I guess this is really happening. <laughs> We're on our way to see the movie Cats. And oddly enough, I'm in the car right now with Cat Steel. Cat, hello. Hello, Paul Brooks. Hello, B Movie Mania. Wow, thank you so much for that. Uh, yeah, we're doing this thing. Um, you're the musical theater person. I'm the B Movie person. Like I said earlier on, on your uh, YouTube show, mm -hmm. uh, this is kind of the perfect combination for you and me to, to, to go see Cats tonight. What? Just lay it on me. What do you think? I think that uh, for those who don't know, Cats is one of the most beloved, longest-running Broadway musicals of all time, highly profitable um, and critically acclaimed, and it has become a feature film. We're watching it about four days, I guess, after its initial theatrical release, and it's been widely regarded as nightmare fuel. So I'm curious to see how this uh, beloved stage musical transfers on screen into what people are describing as a garbage fire. I couldn't agree more, and we're in Burbank right now trying to make our way to the uh, AMC 16 in Burbank. I've had, listen, uh, Maniacs, I'm going to be 100% honest with you because that's how I roll. I've had a couple drinks. I'm babysitting. I, I, I mean, I, I'm going to see Cats. Yeah, I have to have a couple drinks. I can't do this sober. I got some texts from some uh, other musical theater friends today who knew that I, I was going to see Cats. And they texted me and said, you know, you better get a couple of beers in you before you see the movie. And I said, I can't. I'm DDing and I'm going with Paul, who will be blackout tonight. And we're working toward that goal together. We're working on it. There's a bar at the movie theater. I'm going to go... Uh, have a drink there. And I'm hoping that there's a Cats-themed drink because they do that sometimes. That would be exceptional. What do you think would be in a Cats signature cocktail? A bunch of cat shit. But yeah, um, so the reviews, Cat, for Cats. Yes. Uh, I know that, that neither of us have really looked uh, too, too much into... You know, we're trying to keep it spoiler-free right now. Yeah, for the most part we have. What we've really only seen have been headlines, which have not been too favorable, and the initial trailer, which we watched together and Paul was just utterly horrified by. Yes, it does seem like... I will agree with you that it does seem like nightmare fuel. Go ahead and take victory here. Great, thanks. But at the same time, if it's something where, you know, I can show this movie at a future, uh, you know, B-movie marathon or something like that, then that's a good thing for me. You know, you're not wrong, but um, I think it's uh, a sad day for a lot of people because this musical is really held in high esteem. Like, it's... it's beloved like it's critically acclaimed sure. like this is a, a Casablanca of musicals sure no doubt and absolutely this kind of treatment so I think a lot of people people either love cats or they hate cats because it's so avant-garde if you don't know it's about a bunch of cats basically deciding who gets another life of the nine lives spoilers sorry guys um so oh, I mean spoilers for me oh I'm so sorry well we we talked about this am I going the right way I don't know. Um, oh! Yeah, like I said, I think that this is uh, an important piece of history in terms of... Uh, well, I don't, I don't know if I want to say B-movies, but, but, but cult movies. I see it as high potential of reaching B-movie status. From what I've heard, honestly, is that... Cats has a very playful nature to it. Like, it's kind of funny, like, a musical about what cats do when they're on their own and they're not, like, with their owners. It's that kind of vibe. But the little I've heard is that it really leans into the the uh, overtly sexual nature of these cats. Yes, I hear it's a very horny movie. I didn't like the way you said that. No, I did that on purpose. It's a very oh, horny movie. I'm going to need you to leave my car right now. Let's talk a little bit, Cat, about... Um, I sent you an article last week that I thought you might find interesting. It was, I think, posted on avclub.com. I'll, fi I'll find it and I'll post it down below on bmoviemania.com. But you remember reading that article? Yeah, you did send it to me and I did not click on it. Uh, uh, you, s you commented on Facebook everything about this article is amazing. 
Idris Elba took a cat class. Oh, yes, I did read this. Okay. Oh, my God. I did. I did. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, Idris Elba and the cast took classes where they learned how to move as feline performers. Yeah. Um, and apparently there was a lot of, like, sniffing and licking involved, which on one hand, like, I appreciate the craft from, like, a real performance aspect. And on the other half, I'm like, oh, that's why you go into debt for acting school is, like, you're taking cat classes. Well, I think at Idris Elba will, will be okay. You know, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, he will. We'll, we'll, we'll go watch the movie. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to go to the bathroom and get some paper towels in case blood shoots out of my nose. What? Uh, I have heard things about this movie. Blood might shoot out of my nose. Is this movie cursed? <sighs> we're about to find out. So we're going to hit this up. And then, Kat, you want to talk a little bit about it uh, after, after we're out of the movie? I guess. You Okay. I'm just scared oh, about the free, blood thing. Yeah, you're free. Blood's... Pr- Listen, better safe than sorry. Is blood going to shoot out of my nose? I would say 87% not. But you don't want to be in the theater. I just got this new coat. I yeah, don't want to wreck it. No, I don't want you to bleed over my Jetta. I don't want it. Exactly. So we're going to get some tissue. We're going to hit up this movie. And then we'll check back in with you guys on Cat's channel and on... B movie mania real soon let's uh let's uh let's lick up this milk don't ever say that again <laughs> i'm calling hr and that's what makes a cat. no <laughs> that's what makes a <laughs> no <laughs> Oh god. What is that? What is that? Is that a worm? Sausage? Well, we did it. Cat Steel, we did it. Oh, we did it, Paul Brooks. We did it. And, and by that, I mean that we sat through a movie that was one hour and 49 minutes long. It was called Cats. It was only an hour and 49 minutes? I know that's hard to believe. I need to pee. Yeah, go ahead. Does anybody want to chat on my podcast about cats? <laughs> What'd you guys think about Cats? We just got out of the theater. It was angelical. <laughs> it was, yes. That is the word. <laughs> Sir. Listen, I got all my life tonight. Wow. This was amazing. This was magical. Are you, were, you a cat, were you a fan of the musical Cats? I was, yes. Okay. I've never seen it, so this yeah, was I've, new I've for me. I've never seen it, so I don't, I don't know what it's about. I still don't know what it's about. <laughs> me either. So. <laughs> There was some new stuff, right? The whole stuff yeah. with uh, Idris Elba disappearing on that the spot. That was new. That, and and kidnapping them and putting them on the boat. That's not in the musical. They re- No, he's in the show, but not like re- not in the boat kidnapping the cats. Uh, I, I don't know what I saw. <laughs> I don't either. I don't either. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> ah, like a flying trapeze, familiar with Tantu, with book and with spell. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> Cat. Yeah. First impressions. Just uh, we, we, on the show, we call this quick takes. Give okay. me your give me your quick take of cats. Immediate quick take is that it is vastly different from the source material, which I was not anticipating this kind of departure. The choreography is brilliant. Just the pure athleticism. Like, these people are straight up athletes to do what they did tonight. Yeah, Judy Dench, straight up athlete. <laughs> okay. Uh, God, the choreography is simply stunning. I think they revamped it for today's audiences quite a bit, and I think that served them well. 
and I hope it does as it progresses in the box office. I'm really surprised to hear you say this, uh, truly, because my quick take, my initial takeaway from this is that to me it was a movie that was designed for theater audiences. Interesting, which is that is a very hot take because I think coming from someone who knows a lot of what theater people are anticipating with this film, a lot of people are not happy. Wow, okay. Well, I can tell you my opinion on, on this whole thing is that B-movie enthusiasts not going to be happy with this either. Really? That surprises me. Oh, we're in the parking garage. We're in garage. the parking garage right now. Um, something that Paul had mentioned earlier, and I don't remember if you mentioned it on mic, was the potential for this to become like the next Rocky Horror sort of thing. It's not. Interesting, because I thought it had real potential to do so. No, not at all. Um, I mean, it, it, it definitely was a unique theater-going experience, no doubt about that. I mean, it was out there and weird and very strange. But in terms of uh, in terms of becoming the next room, or in terms of becoming the next Rocky Horror Picture Show, not going to happen, in my opinion. How oh, interesting! From a cult, you know, from a cult movie sort of B movie perspective. So that's why I'm so surprised to hear you say that mm -hmm. because I thought for sure I'm like oh this movie like was made for theater people oh no I think a lot of theater audiences thus far that I've heard from even people who really do love cats as just an avant-garde kind of work are not thrilled with the adaptation I think it loses a lot of the stage musical. I think it's an entirely new entity, and with that, the Cats fans aren't crossing over. Well, so so nobody's going to be happy, really, then. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, but, it, I mean, it's got, like, 17% on Rotten Tomatoes, oh, so... Oh, jeez. Yeah. That's so sad. I feel so bad. Uh, Paul put in little drinking rules right here. <laughs> drinking rules! Drink... In the movie theater, every time a cat says Jellicle. Don't do that. You will be in the hospital. It's every 2.5 seconds. And they go like stretches of 12 minutes without saying it. And then they'll say it like six times in rapid succession. So uh, just as you start to feel decent, you'll take like 18 shots in a row. But we don't know what it means. Neither of us know yeah. what that word means. And it's just baffling to me. Yeah. So... I really wish I had more, you know, sort of a positive thing to say about it. Like, I was entertained all the way throughout, and I would say, for theater people, definitely worth checking out. For B-movie people, also worth checking out, just because it is sort of a weird, like, pop culture moment at the very end of the decade right now yeah. just such a strange thing to witness definitely try to go with other people in the theater because that did make it more fun yeah i would i would definitely agree with that this was not the uh kind of experience i was anticipating when we got our tickets we were the only people in the theater but we had kind of a fuller house and it was fun yeah um, so, Kat, we have a thing that we like to do on B-Movie Mania where we rate movies that we review. And the way that we rate them, the, the, the rating system, is we make up a rating system that is specific to the movie. So it's one out of a hundred something from the movie. And I want to let you, since you're the special guest yeah. on this Cat special today, tonight, to pick the rating system. Do you kind of get what I'm saying? Absolutely, Paul. Thank you for that honor. Sure. Um, I would have to rate this from one to a hundred Dame Judi Dench lifting her leg when Idris Elba thrusts his hips in a sexual manner. I uh, have to do the graphic for this. Thank you for that. You're welcome for that. Uh, I would, uh, frankly, I'd give it a, a hundred Judy Dame, you Dame Judy and Dame legs out of a hundred. <laughs> I, I had a wonderful time tonight. Oh my God. Maybe the most fun I've had in the theater since I don't know when. Well, I'm very glad to hear you say that. Um, Magnificent. All the way through. And whenever somebody gives a movie a hundred, 
we play some mariachi music. So you got some mariachi music going right now. I thought you were going to say Mario because at one point, <laughs> one of the cats showed up and Paul just straight up loudly went, is that Mario? Like from the Nintendo games and everyone in the theater lost it. Because he looked exactly like Mario. Um, not surprisingly, uh, I'm going to be a little more, uh, what would you call it? Harsh? A Debbie Downer? A little bit. A I don't. I, yeah, I'm a little. I'm Honest? A, yeah, I'm a critic. Um, this is a really hard movie to rate because it is a strange sort of bizarre CG nightmare. I, I, I haven't mentioned this yet. I have absolutely no idea what the plot was. <laughs> None. Oh. And it's indecipherable. Maybe if you know the play, it's easier for you to, to figure out. But for me, I'm just like... It, it's not easier as someone who knows the play very well. There, There's very little plot. They tried to add more plot by giving it a main character and a vehicle to experience the show. It was equally as confusing okay, as good. the regular musical. Because we talked to some people after the show who were in the theater, and they had no idea what just happened. <laughs> like, Jennifer Hudson, where'd she go? <laughs> so, with that in mind... Um, it's the sort of thing where I gotta just split it down the middle. I'm gonna go 48 out of 100. Uh, Dame Judy Dench legs flailing up when a male cat is in heat before her. I feel like that's not the same thing that you said the first time no, around, exactly the same which thing pisses me off even more because now I have to do both of those, but they're different. So it, thanks it's for both that. Dame Judy Dench wanting it as a cat. It's worth checking out. Um, I would just maybe temper your expectations a little bit. I, I would agree with that. I think um, people who have worked on the film are aiming toward an Oscar nod, which I'm curious to see how that'll no. play out. <laughs> no. Okay. Um, but I think it was entertaining. I think the choreography was phenomenal. And I think that... Sorry. In I, you know what I will give it in an age of sequels and reboots, at least Cats tried something new. No, they didn't. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You're such an ass. Uh, it has been an interesting evening. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, okay. cat. I okay. don't think that you've ever been on B Movie Mania before, have you? I think I read some lines or I helped you read some lines for something one time. Oh, for like a teaser episode or something. Perhaps. Yeah. That sounds about right. So thank you for that, whatever that was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys for Are listening. Taking a left here? Take a left here. Okay. Thank you guys for listening. Um, your video cat. Yeah. For our sort of crossover deal that we're I doing know, here, very exciting. Yeah, uh, that's going to be up uh, probably in a few days. Yeah. Yeah, probably in two, three days. And surprise, this is my main channel video, not a vlog. <laughs> uh, and so, what's your ch what's your YouTube channel if people want to go check that out? Yeah, it's just Catherine Steele. We uh, talk a lot about Broadway and music and the arts and that sort of thing. But on my vlog channel, where it's just kind of my daily life and adventures, usually in the studio and at work or messing around with my friends i uh, usually coerce paul into doing some pretty silly things with me so you can definitely check him out on party at cats my second channel as well yeah we'll put some youtube links to that you just need to flip around sorry i i, I took you the wrong way or you can go down this alley well, oh i thought that's what you wanted me to do thank you so much for listening and watching the video i know i've kind of taken over your video oh, am cat I not taking a right okay. no I know I've kind of taken over your video a this little bit. This is really guy. just a traffic update at this point. <laughs> I used to work around here. I did a show for like half a year here in the Arts District. Cool. Okay, bye everybody! Bye, cats. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs>
and they might just reach back. I'm Lloyd Kaufman saying, see you next time on B-Movie Mania. Woohoo!